everyone, it's Desiree. We are going to create birthday cards. Very simple, quick and easy. And I'm gonna be using the Memory Box 24 Slim Sheets cardstock pad. It's called the Spring Plaid Slim. Now it's 65 pounds, so it's a nice thin weight. And for my focal point, one balloon. I know you guys are like, you're not putting three. Nope, one balloon, still not a number. And I'm using the floral balloon. This is a great die. Now I chose three papers from the memory box pad. And I'm using also the memory box solid cardstock. This is that great thick cardstock. And when I looked at the pattern paper, I looked at those colors and I went darker with those colors. So when it comes to the one I went with deep, a deep pink and a bright deep green, but it's still a light green for the other one where there's a lot of white, I, I pulled out the yellow and I pulled out the purple in there. This cardstock is going to be matted onto a Desert Storm piece of cardstock. And these are going to be four by nine slim lines. So we've got this great quarter of an inch border around each of these pattern papers. And what's great with these pattern papers, there's foiling on them. So you have this gold foil that's going across them um, into the plaid. Now for the center one, it was, it didn't have any white in the pattern paper. It was a solid, you know, blue into like a pinky purple. So I went with a white balloon. I'm also using the make a wish, make a wish, make a wish and let's party, um, sugar script sentiments by Birch Press Designs as well. And I have those laid out. So I die cut those three times and then put them on a piece of vellum. I wanted these to have an actual string. So I'm taking a piece, tacking it to the back, wrapping it around the bottom and then threading it through the loop so that the string will hold. I'm going to prop these up using some double sided foam squares and they're just going to be placed in different areas on the card. One's kind of in the center, another one's kind of up a little bit, and the other one is up high. Again, based on the sentiment. When it comes to the twine that I'm using, it's coming off of a large roll, so it keeps the coil when it comes off of that spool, and I didn't want to lose that. So I just let the twine fall the way that it wanted to fall, and then I just tacked the sentiment around it and any areas where that twine was loose, I just put a little bit of glue underneath it to tack it in place just to hold that. But I really like the way that that twine is just looping underneath that sentiment and then down the card. So it keeps the movement of the image that you're putting on there. So by choosing those colors, when looking at the pattern papers and just going a little bit darker, it helps to even pull those colors out in the background just a little bit more. So that's one way that you can look at your pattern papers. Again, I'm using a layering dye, but again, focusing on those darker colors so that the focal image will pop up off of that pattern paper. That makes sense. Since the white one was down a little bit, I wanted to make sure that that had even more loop-de-loops and you'll see that I'll have those, but you can see I'm just wrapping it around and then threading it through that loop and tying it tight so that it will stay in place. We don't have to glue it or anything else. You can wrap it around a couple times. It's great space. So you can add a lot of twine at the base of that balloon and just have some fun. I'm playing around also with the placement of my sentiments. So you can see where the cards are going. These are great, quick and easy uh, birthday cards that can be completed in no time. 
For this one, I used some gold gems in the center of the flowers of the balloon. For the white balloon, I used a iridescent drop by Trinity. Add some great shine to that. And then for the yellow and purple, I used a satin gold for the center. And you can see I got a little wonky with my sentiments. Um, and the one is put on straight. So very quick, great impact can get your birthday cards together in absolutely no time because those celebrations always creep up on me. So I hope I gave you a few tips and tricks when it comes to looking at your pattern paper and your focal points that come up if you want to keep that color going on. And again, today I featured products by Birch Press Design. And as always, those products will be listed down below in the video description if you wanted to uh, check them out. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here giving you some more ideas, some more tips and tricks. Hit that thumbs up and then that'll let YouTube know that if you liked it, maybe somebody else will as well. So they'll push that out. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking just a little bit of your time today to watch the video. Enjoy creating your art. Enjoy creating what you see with the items that you have. But always remember, as you're doing that, always be creative. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care, guys.